We recently got leaks for the next Dragon Ball Super manga, of course, and I do want to say it does sound like an interesting ending to the Dragon Ball Superhero arc. And yes, you might have heard me correctly because it states right here that this is the epilogue that continued the story past the film, which is where the cell max is at. So this is the ending to this official arc for Superhero. Now, I will point out, I didn't think that was the actual epilogue. I thought the epilogue ended when we had the whole, you know, like the cell max thing, like after the movie was done and stuff. I thought, you know, this is like a little opening, little intro to the next arc. That's what I thought we were gonna get. But nope, doesn't sound like that's gonna be the case, unfortunately. So it is an epilogue. This is the ending to the arc officially. No more after that for superhero. So it is gonna be interesting to see where it's gonna take. Now, I did hear apparently that we were getting close to the end where we were going to get to the end of the sea. So, I don't know how many chapters we got till we get to that part. Not entirely sure. But it is going to be interesting to see what's going to happen for that. Now, I do want to show off some stuff real quick. I know uh, there are some images that I can show you right here, of course, which you can see specifically. Like, you know, it's very raw drawings, but it looks like it's pretty much just a still continuation of the fight with Goku and uh, Beast Gohan, of course. And it seems like Goku's pretty much winning the fight, right? But I do want to get over here for a second because this looks a lot clearer. So you can tell we're off the bat that, yes, Goku has the advantage, of course. But I also heard speculations that this might be the case. But also, Gohan does get the blow on Goku so I'm curious if this is supposed to be the final hit I'm not entirely sure but it is speculating that this could be the case but the one thing I think is very interesting after that is we are going to get Gohan versus Broly and I like that for that because now we're going to see something very interesting but I think it's because he learned how to, to control his Super Saiyan Form. And this is very interesting because a lot of people thought he would not control it. He thought he'd keep his berserk form for a while, but at the same time, we were speculating that he was going to get it soon, but maybe not right away. So, very interesting that we're going to see it in the next chapter, of course. So, that I am actually really excited to see personally. Even though, yes, I was hyped with the Beast and Goku fight, and I know that's going to be a really, really fun thing, especially this shot here where you see that blow on goku that is gonna be really interesting to see like how that's gonna take on that so but unfortunately we do have some sad news i do want to talk about the manga which is so starting next issue dragon super manga which is 103 uh will be the final one and then we're gonna get a break after this point um probably because of the arc thing in that but also too i did see something which I find he does have good information on, but it says that we can have one break or a little longer. So I understand if that's going to be the case because one, we had some recent, um, you know, incidents uh, or event that recently happened, uh, which can affect the story in that. So it's it's kind of sad to say that this is the way they're, they're going to do it, but it's totally understandable because when you don't have the creator anymore, it's kind of hard to continue a story, you know, especially with Toro Taro just pretty much doing what Toriyama was saying the whole time. So, not entirely sure where it's going to go from here. So, it is going to be interesting to see if they need to take the time off, maybe like a, a month or two, if that's going to be the case. I even heard Diamond might be getting delayed too because of the whole incident, unfortunately. But, hey, things happen, unfortunately, and we can't really do too, too much uh you know especially if they want to make that show very good that akira Toriyama wanted for the show so and, and plus it's the 40th anniversary so they really gotta make sure that like they do this well especially for somebody who just recently passed away they really have to honor his work at this point like they really have to cherish his work so i can't wait to see what's going to happen uh, in general so with the manga and also for the anime. But yes, unfortunately, this is one of the news that is a little disappointing. But like I said, it's very understandable. So, but anyways, guys, hope you guys are watching. Hit like for more. Subscribe, of course, for more. 
Dray Ball Super Manga updates and stuff because I am going to be covering that. I am covering also the mangas if you haven't been keeping up with me if, or if you're new to the channel. So everything that's a Kira Torama with mangas will be covered on this channel, of course. So if you like that, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all, of course, in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.